<laughs> good evening, good evening. How are you guys? Good to have you guys. You guys are amazing. It is day 45. Day 45. Man. Man. I mean, day 45 of, of discussing deep money lessons. God. God. Day 45 of discussing deep, 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 deep money lessons. Wow. I mean, like, been doing this for 45 days. Guys, guys you, guys, you guys deserve a resounding round of applause. I'm telling you. Gracie, this is the first time I'm seeing you on live. How are you? I hope you're good. Okay, so don't go away, stay around. I'm, I'm going to discuss um, money in the game of cost today. I want to explain one of the reasons why some people succeed and some people don't succeed. I mean, even if they have the same level of desire. So if you measure desire by 100 and then you have person A who has desire level 100 and then you have person B, who have desire level of 100. Tammy Angela, you are welcome. If they have the same level of desire, how come one of them succeeds more than the other? Even if they have the same capacity. Okay? So, I want to explain, I want to explain that, I mean, today. All right. So, it's been really, really wonderful. Really, really wonderful. Yesterday, it was about leverage. Yesterday was about leverage. Inori Uluwala, wife of Dr. Ayo. Good to have you. Good to have you. So nice to have you. So yesterday we discussed the game of leverage. It was really awesome. I had a lovely time, you know, explaining leverage to everybody because I wanted people to understand um, what it means to leverage. How, how sometimes you can have everything, you know, how... Sometimes it's better for you to borrow somebody else thing or, or for example, you could have a fine shirt and not wear it. Okay. If you have a fine shirt and you don't wear it, you're still going to go out looking poor. So even if you have something, the use of that thing is leverage. Okay. So if you have a fine shirt, when you wear the fine shirt, you are leveraging on the fineness of the shirt for your own personal branding. You know that kind of a thing, okay? Because you can't do personal branding bare-chested. Imagine that you walk around naked. That would be some kind of personal branding anyways. <laughs> but, but you get what I mean. It would be very, very awkward, okay? So even if you have things, using those things is good leverage. So basically, it means that some people have some things that they do not use, which means that they have things that they are not leveraging on, which means that they wouldn't have the kind of results that they could have had if they are leveraged on those stuff, you know, so and I explained that to you uh, quite, you know, quite in uh, as explicit as I could yesterday and I'm very happy that some people got lots of um, insights from the things that we discussed. Tonight, I want to discuss about the game of cost. I want to talk about cost. I want to talk about cost and tonight I feel like I want to be very, very brief. So please pay attention. I want to be very, very brief tonight. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take so long tonight. I just want to go straight to the point, straight to the point, straight to the point. Okay, Timmy, are you with me? Gracie, are you with me? Inori, Loyola, are you guys with me? All right. So, cost. Now, I'm going to round off this slide by telling you the root meaning of cost. Like, the word cost. Where did it come from? What did it mean before they start using it as cost? Okay, all right. But cost is the same cost that, you know, cost is the thing that you pay so that you can get something. The things that you pay so that you can achieve something. The things that you pay so that something can be yours. The thing that you pay so that you can claim something. The, the things that, what you pay so that you can go away or go home with certain things, okay? Th those are costs, all right? Good. Now, now, the way people react to value is different. The way... A person, the way you react to value is different from the way I react to value. But what you want to do, you want to make sure that your idea of value is very sacrosanct. I don't want to use big words, but that your idea of value is well placed, well guided, 
and well placed. When I say well guided, I means I means guided, you know, not guarded, not like protected. Guided as to directed properly, accordingly, you know, well guided so that it is in the right place, okay? And then well placed, you understand? All right, because you see, when it comes to success, when it comes to success, there are several things that a person will have. When we were doing economics, one of the things they taught us in economics was they, they taught us opportunity cost. Okay? Alternative for gun, opportunity cost. They told they taught us that if you want something, if you if you have if you have money, which is supposed to be a scarce, you know, resources. By the way, economics taught you guys that money is scarce. But you have to teach yourself about surplus. Do you understand? You have to put surplus in your mind. It's very, very important for you to put surplus in your mind. It is very important for you to have a lot in your mind. I saw, I saw a post on Instagram um, two days ago. Uh, it was no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't even on Instagram. It was not. It was not on Instagram. It was it was on TikTok? And this person reposted some of the things that. Was something that Pastor Samadi Emi had said long time ago. Oluwa Shegunwa, you're two of you. are Welcome, good to have you. It's so nice to have you. That Pastor Samadi Emi had said long time ago, and I want to show you something because when I listen to that thing, I kind of like, wow, this is true. This is true. To your see, you're welcome. To your see, you're welcome. To your see, you're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. Good to have you. This is true. You know. So this post was talking about how how some people hmm let me pause let me pause does it happen to you that one time you will hear something and then you just had something you're not paying so much attention but you know you know that you have the thing and then when you now go out maybe the next day you hear something similar to the thing you had yesterday and then just before you go home that day you hear it again so when you start hearing the same thing multiple times, that is God or the universe trying to communicate to you. That's the universal mind trying to communicate to you. you people will think that it's coincidence. It is not coincidence. If a particular message is coming to you frequently, you should pay attention. You should pay attention because... Squeeze, squeeze, excuse me. It just may do you a lot of good. I'm laughing at myself. <laughs> oh God, I wish Steve was over there. The way I would have laughed, the way, the way I would have laughed at that person. Anyways, so when the universe is sending you messages repeatedly, you need to pay attention. You need to pay attention. Alright? So this particular thing it came to me multiple times, and I'm very convinced that it's because of you and it's because of you. Okay, it's because of you and I. Alright? Okay, so this post was talking about how how um, yeah, Pastor Sam used to be very broke and you just, he didn't have money, he would spend all his money, spend money because the money was not enough. And he said somebody was telling him that he and his wife went somewhere and the person was saying that you are having difficulties because you don't save. You have to save. And I was like, even if it's not enough, you have to save. I'm, I'm going somewhere. I'm going somewhere with this. And I said, even if it's not enough, you have to save. And then Pastor Sam was saying that he realized that when he saved, like when he saved, he had, he saved like 100k. And then when he saved 100 k the money he made the, pre the next month was more than the made previous month. And then the money he made kept increasing and kept increasing and kept increasing. And he was wondering, you see, for, for people like us, for people like you, who know that saving is a scam, especially when you are putting money in your bank, do you understand? I want you to pay attention because I belong to the school of thought that says don't save, it's rather you invest. So when you save, have it in mind that you are keeping your money together somewhere so that you are able to apply the discipline enough to not touch the money so that you can use the money for something that will give you more money, otherwise known as investment. All right, good. But I want you to pay careful attention. So he said that, so he saved 100k and then he made money, he made more money the next month and then he saved and then he made more and then he saved and he made money without worrying, ah, why am I making, why am I suddenly making a lot of money than I was making before? Okay. And then he said that when he checked in his spirit, the Holy Spirit told him that what happened was that the feeling of lack that he feels when he does not have anything, like, you know, when you are broke, you don't have cash in your pocket, 
and you don't have money in the bank, that feeling of lack, that feeling of lack will bougie K. You're welcome, bougie K. Good to have you, bougie K. Good to have you. That feeling of lack will cloud your mind, and then you will attract more lack. But when you have money somewhere, like in the bank, you have money somewhere, like in the bank, and then the feeling of lack comes. You simply remember that oh, she be I could have hundred k, and then the feeling of lack disappears, and then it dissipates, and then what you have is a feeling of having, which allows you to attract more. That is why some people, the people who have mastered the surplus mentality, which you have to master. I don't know how I'm going to explain that to you. Maybe I should do another live about it, but that's not the point today. But the people who have mastered the surplus mentality will always have. It is, it is, it is a mindset. You must always think. You must always think about having. You must always think surplus. You must always think surplus. Don't let anything make you think lack. Economics may have told you that money or resources is a scarce commodity. Don't believe that. Money is not a scarce commodity. Money is surplus. Money is surplus. Money is surplus. How you will know money is surplus is that when your bank writes your account details, like when they give you your statement, it's just digits. They can't run out of digits. The whole world cannot run out of digits. Do you understand? The, if you can count from one, two, three, four, you can count to one billion as long as you're not tired. You can go from one billion and count to one trillion as long as you are not tired to have. That is the mindset. The value and the money exist in abundance. Let the abundance sink into your mind. Let the abundance, let it sink into your mind. Good, good. Now, you see, the way life comes at you, the way life is expressed. If, if you are a human being, you face life at a linear angle. It means that, what it means is that, is that when you are air, you are air. You can't be in any other place. Skill scream, you're welcome. Good to have you. We'll be having a very wonderful time. I feel very anointed this evening. <laughs> I feel very anointed this evening. Okay. Now, when, when, when you, when you are here right now, for example, you cannot be elsewhere. If you are in Abuja now, you cannot be in Lagos. If you are in Lagos, you cannot be in Dubai. When you are in Dubai physically, you cannot be in Soweto, for example. If you are in Soweto, you cannot be in Jamaica, Trench Town. You know, when you're in Trent Town, you can't be in Paris. Do you understand? So, human beings approach life at a linear angle. You go in straight line because you leave this, you, go, you, don't, you, you don't pick multiple places together. It's just the way it is. Which means that if you are going to be in Paris, the cost of being in Paris is going to be the cost of the other places that you could be in. Alright? The other places that you could be in. Now, what happens? What happens to people, which is the concept of cost that I want to explain to you. What happens to people is that they want, they want what they want most. What they want most, they always sacrifice it for what they want now. Let me explain to you. So you want something now. There is something that you want now. There is something that you want most. So if you are going to be successful... You have to sacrifice what you want now for what you want most. So, what happens is that people are unable to identify what they want most. What do, excuse me, what do you want most? What is that thing that you want most? What you want most is going to cost you the things that you want now. What you want most is going to cost you the things that you want now. That is number one type of cost. That is the number one type of cost. If you are getting me, please let me know that you are getting me. That is the number one type of cost. Great people are able to pay this price. Okay? Great people are able to pay this price. You see, small people are unable to pay this price. It is called, for example, 
it is called delayed gratification in certain school of thought. Okay, sacrificing what you want now for what you want most because once you get what you want now, now will soon expire. You want now will soon finish, and then you realize that you couldn't get what you want most because you went for what you wanted now. So you need to understand that that is why some people succeed and some people do not succeed. That is a cost. It is, it is, a, it is a kind of cost that you must understand. It is a kind of cost that you must understand. Understand this cost and sell it once and for, your, for all in your mind. That is why I always tell you guys to operate some manifesting techniques. Let you or five years from now write a letter to you now. Where you are going to be in five years. Imagine it very clearly and write a letter to yourself now and say, Hello, Gracie. Uh, uh, this is year 2026. It's this is is October is um October, and then um I'm, I'm, I'm at a Burj Al Arab in Dubai. I'm having a meeting with the Prince of Dubai, and then one of the things that we spoke about was also and so. And I remember that it started from 2021 when I decided that I was I had surplus. You know, write to yourself because it's very important for you to remind yourself of what is coming, so that you don't lose you don't lose what is coming based on based on um based on small little 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 ephemeral things that you enjoy now i am not saying do not enjoy life no way i am not saying do not enjoy life no no please enjoy your life as it goes but you must understand the difference between what you want most and what you want now you must understand the difference okay there are no absolutes do you understand there are no absolutes people eat different people will go about life in different ways but it's important for you to understand that it's a long-term game. If you're not planning to die soon, then you have to play like you're going to be around for a long while. You have to build. You have to keep building. I said I'm not going to stay longer to this life, okay? I'm not going to stay longer to this life. Now, now, a person who is going to succeed must understand. A person who is going to succeed must understand the concept of cost. If you are building, if you have ever built anything, Grant see you're welcome. You're welcome. Good to have you. If you have ever done anything, if you have ever built anything, if you have ever studied, if you have ever passed an exam, how many times did you sacrifice sleep? How many times did you sacrifice sleep so that you can read? How many times has that happened to you in your life? So, you knew about cost. You just don't like it. You have to like it. You have to like the idea of cost. The idea of cost is important. People who understand it, they always go far in life. How many times, how many times did you sacrifice something so that you can have something? How many times did you sacrifice on serious friends so that you can focus on your life? How many times? You see? There are different costs. Sometimes the journey of your life will cost you some stupid friends. You have to pay that cost. Because if you hold on to those stupid friends, they are going to draw you back. And guess what? You are not going to be able to blame them for your, for your miserable life in future. If your life goes on to be miserable, you will not be able to blame them. You have only yourself to blame. Is it easy to leave friends that you've known for a long? No. It's difficult. So I'm not telling you about difficult. That is why it, that is why it is called cost. <laughs> that is why it is called cost. If it was easy, nobody would call it cost. They would call it enjoyment if it was easy. So if they call if, if it is called cost, it means that something is leaving you. You it means that there is something not palatable that you are going to express. The experience is not palatable. That is why it is called cost. So you already knew about cost. Okay? Now, now, you see, the greater the goal or the greater your life, the more the cost. You have to understand that. Some of the costs that you will experience is the cost of being misunderstood. Have you seen any great man that everybody understood? Do you remember? Do you remember that your rich uncle, that is as nobody understood him? They didn't understand him. He will not come family functions frequently. They won't see him on time. He will leave early. 
they will be talking, be laughing, you will not be laughing. You're saying, what's wrong with this one? What's wrong with this one? But we are last. He's the richest of all your family, of all your your mom's family or your daddy's family. It's a cost. It is a cost. People who understand cost, you know, it is. Let me tell you. Let's assume that you have one uncle. When you were young, maybe maybe five years ago, he was just building his life, but you didn't know. And you were asking him for one million and I say, Uncle, give me one million now because you feel that uncle has money. And uncle didn't answer you. And you now did not like the uncle. You now didn't like the uncle. Whereas, uncle didn't give you the one million because uncle understood that at, at that time, he could not give you the one million because that one million for him, he knew that he could multiply it to 20 million naira in the next two years. So uncle didn't give you one million naira. You even say borrow me and he didn't borrow you. So now, that uncle is still alive. Uncle is very, very rich now. Now, uncle now calls you. Five years ago, uncle did not give you one million naira that you asked him. You say, borrow me. He did not borrow you. You say, uncle, I have this business proposal. I have this thing. Just borrow me one million. Uncle did not borrow you. Right? Good. You are angry. You told everybody about this. How ah, your uncle is very useless. How ah, your uncle is just this and that. How ah, your uncle... And it was your dad that sent your uncle to school and things like that. You told everybody. No problem. Now, yesterday. No, not yesterday. Today. Today, now. Uncle now called you now. Uncle now said, eh, hey, Alpha, Bujike. Bujike, Bujike, how are you? you? Say fine. Ah, okay. Ah, Gracie, you say ah, fine, fine. Gracie, Gracie, send your account number. I want to send five million to you. <clears throat> Do you think that you will forgive that uncle or not? Of course, you are going to forgive that uncle. You are going. To forgive that uncle. Have you ever seen anybody, all things being equal, that they gave a gift to that he refused? Have you seen anybody? If you want to give your governor gift of five million naira, what is gift of five million naira? If your governor is having is having a family occasion and you want to send him cow or cattle or you know, you shall know what I mean. The biggest cattle cannot cost more than 300 k you now gave the governor of your state 300k. 300k cattle. Do you think he will collect it? Abi will not collect it. He will collect it. He will remember you. How much more? 5 million. So you think that if your uncle now wants to give you 5 million, after he did not give you 1 million in five, 5 years ago, you think he will not collect it? You think that uncle will not become your favorite uncle back? If you were, even if he was your favorite uncle before, and you didn't like me again, saying, those rubbish, those rubbish uncle. Those Jesus uncle. And you wrote him off. And I called you today now. I said, I'm giving you 5 million. Do you think that he will not become your favorite uncle immediately? He will become. He will become your favorite uncle immediately. He will become your. He will become. You see, all those your uncles that used to call you every day and say, Ah, tell me, how are you? How are you? Ah, you're fine. Don't worry, your life will be good. All those uncles that are encouraging you, they will not give you money. You put them in second place. The uncle that called you and say, I want to send 5 million will become your favorite uncle. That is why, that's, you see, that this simple analogy should let you know the true meaning of cost. So you feel that some people will hate you, you will go and succeed. It is difficult for people to hate people who are succeeding. It is difficult for people to hate people who are successful. It is difficult. You see, it is failure that has any reason. Success. Success has a lot of friends. Success. Hey, you see the siblings of success. There are plenty. It is failure that we'll be looking for a siblings and will not be able to find the siblings. Success. Succeed. Pay whatever cost is necessary for you to succeed. Come and see. You will see that people like you. So you know, I think that you don't know whether people like you. You don't know whether people, people are not encouraging you. People are not encouraging you. Oh, succeed. Now, you see, you see, anybody can take encouragement. Anybody. Say, ah, how are you? Don't worry, you'll do it in life. Everybody loves to, to hear that. Everybody. Have you ever seen somebody that says, no, ah, I don't like people encouraging you. Have you ever seen anybody like that? No. Everybody likes to be your friend. Everybody likes, even, even Buari likes the people who say, ah, say Baba, no, no, this president is a good president. Everybody. Everybody. The government of your state likes it. The local government chairman likes it. Everybody likes to be encouraged. You see? But you see, some people, because they don't want to lose encouragement from their stupid friends, they
they will not cut off from super friends. Friends that you know that are not going anywhere, you won't cut off from them because you don't want to lose their encouragement. It's better you lose the encouragement and go and succeed. Once you succeed, you will see. <laughs> you will see them. And all the encouragement that they did not give you, they will pay it twice and they will put apology on it and say, ah, my friend, don't be angry. I was, you see this life. Hmm. You know me, I always told people that you will succeed, that you do your life. I always know. Me, I always think that you succeed, they will come and tell you that. So, you must pay the price. You must pay the price. Now, let me blow your mind because I was trying to, you know, I promised that I was not going to take long today. Uh, incidentally, I'm already using like 20 minutes. I, th I thought I was going to, <laughs> I thought I was not going to use more than 10 minutes today. Okay. Now, let me, let me now, let me now wrap, let me wrap, let me round this off. Let me round this off. You see, the word cost, the word cost is the way you know it. That word cost is the way you know it. The payment or price, paying the price for something so that you can own a thing, so that you can take it away, so that you can achieve a thing, or so that you can have a thing. You know, price, price, good. That is the meaning of cost right now. Very good, very good. But you see, the word cost came from a Latin word called constar. C-O-N-S-T-R-E, constar, which means to stand firm. Can you believe that? That the original meaning of cost is standing firm. Like standing firm, like standing gidigba. It is the people who can stand gidigba that will succeed though. It is the people that small winds cannot blow you away. Small winds cannot blow you away. Small challenge blow you away. Small winds cannot blow you away. That is the people who succeed. So the root meaning of cost is constair, which means to stand firm. That should tell you everything. That should tell you. That should tell you. That my job is done here. If you can internalize that meaning, stand firm. Stand, stand firm. That's the meaning. That's the root meaning of cost. Can you believe it? Which means that the people who achieve anything in life, they are the people who will stand firm. Doesn't matter. You alone. You by yourself. Not looking for support. Not looking for somebody to somebody to somebody somebody to 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 rest on. That's that's yeah, that's the meaning. That's so let it sink into your mind. The people who will succeed. So paying the cost of something means like anything that wants to go, let the thing go. I will succeed. That's the meaning of cost. Anything that this thing will take, whatever it will take, I will succeed. Whatever it will take, I will buy houses for my mom in Dubai. That kind of thing. Whatever, I'm, whatever sleepless night that I need to take, I would, you know, that's, I will have, I will have lands, houses, I will have properties, I will have chain of businesses, I will have seven streams of, seven streams of income, whatever it would take. That's the meaning of standing firm. That's the meaning of standing firm. I'm telling you, forget it. There is no, that's, that's the meaning. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No, that's just the way it is. I'm serious. I'm serious, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't invent the word. Do you know? Do you know it's not me? I'm not the one that went to go and I didn't go to go and invent the word. I didn't invent the word. Cost. It's not me that created that word. It's not me that say what it means now. Do you understand? It's, <laughs> yes, so tell me. You understand? You have to understand the meaning of these things. You have to. Thank you, Bujike. Solid moving train. You are going. Nothing. Anything will enter your phone. They clear up. You'll be alone. Yes, it's a cost. They may misunderstand you. Yes, it's a cost. So people may think that they hate you. It's a lie. They don't hate you. They don't know. They just don't know that they don't hate you. You succeed first. That's your friend. That's your friend that is doing something. You, the day you want to silence that your friend forever, just call that your friend and say, Alpha, if iPhone 13 Pro Max was the main phone, then you'll say, Alpha, guy, send your address. I want to send person to come deliver this iPhone 13 Pro Max for you. You will not know whether that your friend likes you or not. You will now see that 
You don't answer that it is possible for you to have friends that you cannot do anything wrong for. It's because you have not succeeded. If you see our friends that are saying, ah, I don't like what you are doing, I don't like what you are doing, you are just misbehaving. It's because you have not succeeded. Pay the price to succeed. Even if it means that friend going on sabbatical leave away from your life. Pay the price. Pay the cost. Understand cost. Alternative for gone. Opportunity cost. Understand it. Understand what you want most. How it is different from what you want now. Get the difference. What do you want most? What do you want most? Once you identify what you want most, pay the price. Give the cost. Your task tonight, write in simple sentences, maybe three or four sentences, what is it that you want most in life? Thank you so much. I love you guys. You know me now. I'm rooting for your success. I want you to succeed. I'm, I'm like particularly invested in I'm passionate about your success. I promise you, I I you are going to succeed. And I'm going to be right there. I'm going to see it. And I'm going to I'm going to be part of your success story. I love you guys. Thank you so 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 much. So nice to have you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm already I'm already having nostalgia. It's finishing. Are you mad? We started this thing since July 1. Every day. Every day since July 1. Wow. You guys have been wonderful, I tell you. I promise you guys have been really, really wonderful. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you so much. Please remember what you want the most and show up for it every day. Every day. Make sure you show up. Bye.